For over 80 years, PGG Rights and Seeds have been working with Australian farmers to increase productivity on the land and continually deliver improvements in seed genetics. Over that period, PGG Rights and Seeds have introduced such grasses as Concord, the first proprietary ryegrass introduced into Australia, Winterstar 2 and Base AR37. We've worked with industry bodies such as MLA and Dairy Australia and invested significantly in research facilities throughout Australia to ensure our products are tested and deliver the very best results for Australian farmers. PGG Rights and Seeds have also hand-picked agronomists to represent the business and give the very best advice and recommendations to farmers in their day-to-day -day pasture needs. PGG Rights and Seeds commitment to farm production is second to none within the industry. We never rest on our successes, we build on them. Our research and development team are continually striving to create better genetics, to deliver better grasses, providing better feed with higher production and maximising profitability. Plant breeders like Michael Norris. Michael's been a PGG Rights and Seeds plant breeder for over 30 years. As a boy, he worked on the land on his holidays. As a young man, he qualified with a Bachelor of Science with honours in botany and since has dedicated a large part of his life to the improvement and development of grass genetics. I talk to farmers around Temperate Australia and I listen to what they want in a new grass. I then take that into account alongside what is possible, features that aren't necessarily obvious to the guys who have busy lives and farms to run. So in the program we start with the farmer's input and add what we know as grass breeders, getting more features every year. I guess that's what it's like in grass breeding. My key role is to make incremental gains, to create better grass cultivars and to maximise production and profitability. Our whole grass breeding philosophy is about making real differences to farmers. We focus on genetic advances that are fit for purpose. Sustainability is also really important. That can cover a host of factors, establishment, seasonal growth, pasture persistence, and an important one, feed quality, which is basically better feeding and nutrition for the rumen bugs and the animal's gut. That's an area where we can see real scope for productivity gains. Over the years, I've had an amazing opportunity to develop a bunch of interesting grasses, like Winterstar 2 and Banquet 2, Quantum 2, Feast 2 and Base AR37. Just some examples that I'm really proud of. But this latest grass we've developed over the last decade, well, I'm really excited by its potential. We're always looking to improve our grasses. Winterstar 2 has been a real winner for farmers. I know most of the farmers have been really happy with how it performs. It's very rewarding for me to go to field days and talk to farmers who know the benefits of Winterstar 2. Well, thanks to our team, Winterstar 2 just got better. We wanted to create a grass with the same genetic background as Winterstar 2 and build on those strengths. Over the last decade, we've tested hundreds of lines out of Winterstar 2 with the winner from all those tests we've called Ascend. Ascend has the faster start, a longer finish, more leaf and more feed quality and more rust resistance than Winterstar 2. This grass is going to deliver farmers a lot of feed. I'm often asked about the future of grass breeding how will new technologies like genetic engineering affect what we can do and how fast we can do it? Well, without giving too much away, we'll continue to make incremental gains over our current grasses, all the time listening to farmers so we get the basics right, then using outside the box thinking to create something special to go to market. I guess my view is that smart, conventional breeding will continue to produce the leading developments in pasture in the immediate future. We continue to monitor the progress of genetic engineering and maybe there is an opportunity in the longer term, but right now it's just cost prohibitive, let alone considering what our customers might want. But we may see some significant gains in 15 to 20 years from now. Certainly climate change is top of mind with plant breeders, I think water availability in the future means developing more drought resistant pastures or pastures that use available water and nutrients more effectively. 
we're also looking at grasses being more productive, but at the same time producing less greenhouse gases. That's the kind of double win we want, benefiting both the farmer in the short term and the environment we all rely on in the long term. The future is really positive, I think, and we continue to work with real passion towards building greater sustainability and profitability for farmers. I'd just like to leave you with this piece of advice for your winter feed options next year. If Winterstar 2 did the job for you, then you really need to try Ascend. You'll get a really fast start in autumn and winter, when feed is most valuable, then at the other end of the season in late spring, you'll get an outstanding feed quality from the late maturity, extra leaf and fewer seed heads, and more improved disease resistance. This grass is going to deliver heaps of feed and it only took a decade of development and testing. PGG Rights and Seeds, continually striving to improve their performance, just like you.